Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. It's so awesome to see you. Tonight, I have a special guest, Sybil Harmony, who's an amazing spiritual teacher. She's got a great book out and she offers classes. So check out her website and her YouTube channel. It's all down here in the description, but she's going to be leading us on a heart healing. This is for the whole group. Anytime you're watching this, whenever it is, it is for you. The energy is for you. Thank you, Sybil. How are you? Oh, I'm I'm great. I'm delighted to be here with you on your show. And it's so amazing. I watch your shows all the time. It's just um, supernatural how you connect into the guides and you get these messages. It's just amazing. It just blows me out of the water. But I'm delighted to be on your show and doing a healing show. Because uh, <laughs> we need that with all the stuff going on in the world, especially now. huh? <laughs> We really do. I tell yeah. you guys, this is why we're doing this because we, our chakras have taken a little bit of a beating. I think our energy has taken a little bit of a beating with this kind of toxic uh, stuff that we've been kind of swimming through for the last couple of years. Yes, definitely. Wow. We've got a lot of people here. Yeah. Yes. Whoa. So before we get started, I just want to say, I think a butterfly kisses healing. Is it your birthday this coming weekend? Anybody that has a birthday, happy birthday. Thank you guys so much. On Monday. Your what? My birthday's Monday. Your birthday's Monday. Yeah. Happy early birthday. How exciting yeah, is it? 24. No, just kidding. <laughs> Why not? Let's all be 24. Let's not. I don't want to be 24, but maybe 44. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay. Yes. Seashells. Guess what? This no. healing is for everybody here. This is a blanket healing for everybody in the chat, but everybody watching the video, no matter when you're watching it, this healing is for you. And, and so for that reason, I'm going to ask you guys, if you are watching this and you're driving, please don't do that. Cause this Sybil is a powerful healer. You guys might've seen her on my channel a couple of weekend, weeks ago. She's a powerful healer. So if you're driving, you're not going to be, you know, maybe paying attention. So please don't operate machinery. Um, if you need to watch this video later when you have the time to do it, do that. Okay. But absolutely. This is a, this is an important chakra, your heart chakra. Talk, talk to us a little bit about it. Cause uh, Sybil and I were talking about how it doesn't mean, uh, you know, being heart centered doesn't mean being a doormat. It, it doesn't mean that. So can you tell us a little bit about what that means to be, heart centered again or or to heal your your chakra? Yes. Actually, I wanted to say I'm 67. I'm not a I'm I look good. I meditate. Oh, girl, 67. <laughs> All right. Dang. Yeah. You look 47 no. for real. Meditate. There's a lot I of benefits it. to that. Okay. So, um yeah. Um but so well, my soul is a lot older and that's not complimenting me, but that's who would still be coming back here at this <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> she she no, signed up for the extended package. She I'm signed up for the extended service. soul package. Yeah. Um, so I was just, I was just listening to this beautiful. Uh, before we do this healing and talk about the heart chakra, I was listening to this beautiful chant called "Purity." I think it's "Purity of Mind" by Tina Turner. And she, after a lot, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but she turned Buddhist and did these chanting, and it's on YouTube. And I just love um, before or after doing healing work to listen to this beautiful uh, chanting that she does. And then I was um, just all day, I've been getting messages about this video because that's how spirit works with me. I went out and I went on walks and I was saw, saw the hawk, which is you're getting messages, the crow, which is to crow the shots and birds and butterflies kept appearing out of nowhere. And I'm like, what is this? And it, they were saying that, that it's the energy of the unconscious. So where we're going to go with this healing is like, what is affecting our heart chakra that we are not um, conscious about? And let me back up for a minute before that. I was looking also at this quote from, um, from uh, sorry, I got to put my phone on uh, airplane here, <laughs> uh, for, on... Uh, from Keanu Reeves. And he said, uh, if you had been brutally broken and still have the courage to be kind to people, then you are an angel. You're a badass with the heart of an angel. 
I was like, wow, I love that. So that's what this is about. Some of the old ideas, like you were saying, Susan, were kind of like if you were spiritual, you had to just be a doormat or kind of just give away your power. And that's not the new age of the heart chakra. The heart chakra is about courage. It's about our inner knowing. When we open and heal our heart chakra, we are opening our abilities, our clairs, um, our inner knowing, the consciousness, aligning our will. It's the energy of joy. And it's not the energy of being needy or being a victim, but like it's courage. It's the energy of courage and the ability to not be corrupted when our heart is open. And um, the inner child clearing away shame, clearing away what we're maybe not conscious of. Because I love therapists. I did therapy for years and I went in and I sat and I cried and I felt my feelings and stuff. That was all what was conscious, what I remember. But sometimes this is about what we're conscious about, like we know, because part of being here in, on Earth, on the love planet, Earth, is about um, we all have our heart broken at least once. So um, when we go into this energy, you might be conscious or aware of like, that's what where I hurt, that's where I was hurt. And when we feel that, we, we, we get a healing, or it's not like you feel it, it's like a release. You'll see what it's like when we go in there. Or like the guides were showing me today, it might be something that from a past life, something that you've forgotten, like, oh, I forgot, I didn't realize that was there. But when we open our heart, then we can fully open our life and our joy. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to walk around with our hearts closed. Like my dog, my dog knows whose heart is open. When I take him on a walk, if somebody's heart's open, he'll run right up to them to get petted. And people who aren't really so open, he just, he'll just go high or walk right by. And he doesn't, you know, animals, they know it. And it's our natural state. And like you said, with all the things going on now in the world, the, the, you know, the, uh, well, you know, the, the suffering that's going on on the world and all the wars and everything and the COVID we all went through. It's just been all the political thing. It's just been really hard and stressful for us. So it's really important for us to heal, clear our energy and heal our heart and keep our hearts open. And I wanted to share this story about um, my journey to open my heart. I went, um, I decided to, Actually, I went there to this other country to see these healers. It was suggested by a teacher of, to, of mine that I go to, to this island in the Philippines to heal my what was going on with me, which was actually another issue. But I realized after the trip, because hindsight is twenty twenty, when I got there, or when, actually when I got back years later, I realized the real reason I went there is because it opened my heart and it opened me spiritually. And so I, I went on this, this journey to heal myself and um, we flew to Manila and then we caught a little island hopper, a little plane. And I like getting in the plane and I'm like, where's the bat? It was tiny. I'm like, where's the bathroom? And they said, well, you can't use it. The luggage is in there. I was like, okay. And we went up and we start bouncing around. We were like, well, you know, I'm like, oh my God, we're going to die. The plane is bouncing around. I'm like, I'm going to die. And then that was all foggy and stuff. And I looked down through the fog and there was this little uh, dirt road. I'm like, I'm like, we're not going to land there, are we? Oh, yes, we are. I'm like, oh my God, now we're really going to die. So we, <laughs> Later, I found out when I, uh, a couple of weeks later, that runway was, they let the chickens and the goats and the townspeople would just cross. It was this little island called Baguio, and um, they would cross over the landing field, except when they heard there was a plane coming, and then they'd kind of 
shoo the goats and the chickens off and put up these ropes. I'm like, oh my God. So I went into this, right beside that road, there was this church. And um, I went in there and they told us about this church. And they were a mix of uh, uh, shamans and Catholic. And um, most of the healers on this island. And um, so I went into their church and the love there was so, it was so amazing. It was just unconditional love. And when I walked in the door, I just broke down and cried because the feeling mm -hmm. of the love was so powerful there. And there was this eight foot tall, huge tall Madonna uh, carved a mother Mary and they put a crystal in her heart of the statue. And the man who carved the statue was, um, terminal with cancer and when in the eighties and when he was done carving it, he was tested and his cancer was gone. And some of the locals said that there was actually, I know it sounds strange, but there was stuff there that I saw that it, it, this isn't about that but it changed the way I thought about things. But some of, and what I believed was true, what could be true. But some of the locals said that there was blood coming out of the crystal in her chest. Mm -hmm. And the, so the government came in and tested it and they said, well, it's human blood, but they, 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 so they have a plaque on the wall saying that there was a test done, that there was human blood found there. But um, the healers there were amazing. And I just, it, it just changed the way I thought. So I sat there and I meditated in that church. Every day I'd go back and meditate there and with the Madonna, the Mother Mary, and um, my heart started to open. And um, she started to talk to me and it just, um, a, a funny thing happened. I noticed, well, I got some of the statues and some of you have seen some of the statues in my videos that I do and, uh, Easter's coming. So I'm going to do a, a Jesus, whatever, uh, statue. Um, even though I'm not religious, I connect with the ascended masters. Most of the esoteric messages of all major religions had reincarnation and they were actually messages from the ascended masters. It has it been, I mean, if, if you practice a religion and that's, I'm, I'm cool with that. If that works for you, you know, you, you do you, that's cool. Uh, I'm not really religious. I'm spiritual, but I love to connect with the messages from the masters. But anyway, or is that the right word to use? Is that politically correct? I don't know. Okay. So sorry. I apologize if it's not, but so, um, what happened when I got back from there is not only did the statues start to, when I would meditate, especially at night, they would start to move around and talk to me or they would light up with energy. But then when I started, when I would look at photographs or pictures, like in Harry Potter, the, the pictures started to move and talk to me. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, I've gone crazy. But it, it, it took me a while to kind of integrate everything that happened but I think it affected the way my healing. But so I want to share that with you and um, some of the heart opening healing that I did there. So that was a lot. So I'll let you. Uh, do, you want, do you want me to share that that picture if I can sure. of you there? Yeah, um, we do have a picture um, theoretically uh, that I can make happen. Um, so here it is. It's not the best picture in the world, but here you can see the, the statue in the back. Right. And in the white area, that's the face. This was made out of wood, right? Yes. It was carved out of wood and I, I believe it was painted. And then, yes. And then you can see the crystal, the darker the crystal, the red crystal in her chest. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. It sounds amazing. So if I can get it off of the screen, I can. Okay, great. So, so. You guys, I just want to say, obviously, but I think it needs to be stated sometimes because this this is like normal for, for Sybil and I. We I, I think we don't understand sometimes that it's not normal for everybody, but you don't need to go to another country. You don't need to do these things to have your awakening. 
Um, you can have your awakening in your bedroom or in your backyard or, um, you know, and these things can come anytime in any sort of way. You might have it tonight. Your heart might open tonight, right? So um, don't think you have to do something special or be special. Let's talk about that because I this really is hanging me up because you guys don't think you have spirit guides. <laughs> You've got spirit guides. You've got angels. You, All of us, none of us are more special than anybody else. End of story. Trust me when I say that. Um, so how can people understand that they can have their own heart opening? T can you talk to that at all, Sybil? Yeah. Well, it, it isn't, you don't have to, it is a choice, but you might just want to feel into it or look at it or, and, and just see what happens when you go in there. And, um, but, but, it, but it is your choice and you are loved. Some of the biggest energies that have affected here on this planet are um, kind of, they're, they're called Aryan energies, and we don't really see them. It's like thought forms that none of this is real. You don't have any power. You don't have any guides. They don't love you. You know, you're just, you're just here, you're a body, you, you get, uh, you know, an education, a job and a car, and then, you know, and then you die, whatever. It's just, you know that, that these things are real, but spirit it's you're, you're, you're kind of disempowered. And then it used to be in the old paradigm. If you wanted to have a religious or a spiritual experience, you had to talk, go through somebody else. You were not allowed to connect yourself. And now we're going, Oh no, no, that's not how it was meant to be. You are loved. You have guides. And this is very real. In fact, Everything is energy. Think about it. A house is energy. It's an idea or a thought before they draw the plans up or get the material for it. Even our money. Like, look at this. What is this? This only has value. Why does this have more value than this piece of paper? Yes, that's what my guides because, always say. Oh, my God. Yes. We are in agreement that this has value and this is just something I could throw it away. It's right on it, whatever. And so everything here is by agreement and we've been asleep. <laughs> we've been asleep to who we really are and what we can do and that we can create and manifest. We can have a planet that works for everyone. We can you know, be, you know, we can, we're more than what we believe and we are all loved and we deserve love. And so it's, if you allow that, you know, like you deserve to be loved, you are lovable. There's nothing, a lot of us have shame. Like I would look in the mirror and I'd be like, I'm fat. I have wrinkles and you know, my car, whatever. And that's, fine to want to have those outside things or whatever, but it isn't really who we are. We are, we are much more than we believe. And we all, like you said, have uh, guides and deserve love and can connect. Yeah. You're worthy of love. The reason we're doing this tonight is the most important thing that your spirit guides, they, they say to me, every time I talk to anybody, whether it's for mediumship or psychic, or it doesn't matter that they want you to experience true love. They want you to, to love yourself and they will wait until your last breath. They don't care. You, you have an opportunity to learn this or experience this anytime. There's no timeline. Um, it's just an expression of love through the soul. So hopefully we're all going to experience this tonight. We're all going to experience our heart opening and um, understand how powerful that can be, how powerful for us it can be, right? Um, and, and powerful for our communities and powerful for our families. Yeah. Well, I remember when um, my granddaughter was born after I had my awakening, my opening, because this is your awakening. The first part we awaken is our heart. Um, I would hold my granddaughter as a baby and I would send this love to her. And we had this amazing connection. And that's something that I could give to her that she'll always have. 
So I, I remember also sending love to some people who are like more, they weren't able to handle it. And this one guy um, I was married to at the time, he told me like, Stop, don't do that. Stop doing that. Because he could feel it was palpable. I was dating, actually dating somebody else. And he's like, okay, can you please send that to me every day? And I'm like, sure. <laughs> yeah. So you can send it. And also, I think we were talking last time and last time we did the show, there was a, a famous person on a stage and I, I'm sure that was a good person that I, you know, I, I don't want to talk against somebody, but I, I sent that person love and he stopped playing music and the whole like, was looking around like that. So I'm not saying, you know, we have to be respectful. You don't want to send people love that don't, well, I don't know with, you know, with children, I think it's, it, our, our children need that. We don't have that. We don't, I didn't have that with my mother. And so when I found this, I was able to like, wow, I can heal myself. And some people have a loving and good mother relationship. That's wonderful. But then maybe they're missing her because she's not here or a grandmother, or there's been other things that have gone on in, in this life or in past lives. So this transcends not just this life, but past lives or even other places where you might've been. Um, yeah. So, um, Send it to yourself, though, guys. If you don't fill up your cup, you've got yeah. nothing to send anybody. Yeah, you really. I would fill start. Up your cup. Yeah, I would start with yourself first. I used to, you know, do, uh, you know, with my granddaughter, it was different. I, um, but yeah, even with a a um, your partner, but so, but yeah, first fill, first heal yourself. Just do that. That's a little bit more advanced, but. It does feel like, and I discovered this when, um, when I would go into meditations and healing my heart, then what happens is the energy started to come up and it, it's, it's kind of like I would get an initiation and it would feel, is this is a G rated show. It would feel, um, <laughs> orgasmic. Thank God. Be like, Thank Whoa, God. It's a what? Show. Thank God. what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It can Go feel ahead, that way. It can, but that's not going to happen today. You're not going to be, you know, having up. We're just, we're just going <laughs> to say hello to, to love and to feeling safe. And people, our hearts open also when they feel safe. You know, your, when you your mileage like, may vary. We are making no claims here about what you may experience. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Your my your mileage may vary. Okay, I also want to say someone's asking about rose quartz. I think absolutely. If you feel like during this meditation you want to heal, you want to uh, handle or have in your hands any any gemstone crystal you're drawn to, I think would be fine. If you do not have one, it is okay. You don't need one. If you have one, if you're a crystal person and you want to hold one, go for it. You yeah. don't really need anything. That's part of the thing too. I want you guys to understand you're just perfect the way you are. You're lovable the way you are. You're worthy right now in your skin, regardless of whether you think you're too old or too fat or too short or too tall or too thin or whatever, whatever it is, you need to understand you're worthy. You're immensely worthy as you are right now. Your spirit guides love you unconditionally unconditionally you got all this all these energies love you unconditionally yes they wish you would listen to them but they still love you kind well like, and, and you right. know what connecting it helps if you raise your vibration because yeah. you can't quite connect with them if you're down here and they're up here so when you raise your vibration through this type of thing that we're going to do you're going to be closer you're going to get more guidance you guys all want more guidance this is really the way to do this. It's hard for a lot of us to give ourselves love. We weren't raised that way. You know, our generation, a lot of us are of a certain age and our generation, we just weren't raised like that. We were raised to get the work done, do this, be, you know, don't be too big for your britches. Um, we were raised to be kind of service, to be of service, right? Which is, which is high because service is the highest um, thing on the planet, but we need to serve, give service to ourselves. Like you said, fill our own cup first. 
And uh, it's such yeah. an important thing. I cannot tell you guys enough when they give you that boring thing on the airplane about if the oxygen mask down drops down, you got to put it on yourself first. They're right. not kidding. If you don't put it on yourself first, if you put it on your three-year-old, you're going to be passed out in the aisle and your three-year-old is going to be playing with it like it's, you know, a toy. And they're, you know what I mean? So you have to take care of yourself first before you can help others. Please let that resonate. Let that sink in. Good Lord. Okay. Where, where are you at? So, well, you want to get started with the, um, sure. I just want to show people, um, I, this is in, uh, my book, but I drew a little graph here. So I'm telling them like, here's your heart chakra. It's in the center of your chest. And, um, you have seven major chakras. Each chakra governs a state of consciousness and also, um, body, so the heart chakra is about your immune system and um, it governs the physical heart and lungs. And it's, if you're looking at it, like if you draw, do Google a picture of chakras, most pictures show lights. They'll, you'll see lights and they are round balls of energy. So this is your etheric, not physical body, of course. Um, so it would look like, a circle of light on your chest if you were looking right at it. So actually, um, it would look something like this, just like a circle. And it has a center point there. Okay. And, but with the heart chakra, it has a front and a back. So you process energy or life through your chakras. And so energy would uh, come in through the front and then process through the back. So it's actually a cylinder that looks more like this. So if you're looking at it head on, you would have the round ball. Sorry, my, and then, so you're looking at it, it's a cylinder in the front, a cone, and then a cylinder in the back. And this little dot here is the moment of now. So when people say, are, you know, to be in the moment of now with Eckhart Tolle's book, the moment of now being present, that is right in the center of your chakra. And so the reason I'm telling you this is just so you have an idea of like, what does it look like? What is a chakra? It's an energy center. It's in the chest. Okay. And so that's what it looks like. And actually in that little center right there, there's a little tiny pyramid, like a pyramid. Here's a I have a crystal pyramid here. And so this is really tiny inside. It's an energy space. So it's hard. It was hard for me to understand. Like, how could that be a little pyramid way in there when that point is like so tiny? But it's an energy space. So when we go in there, we're going to call in uh, spirit and your guides and the angels and the ascended masters to help us. And that's what I, because that's how I, you can call in your guides, uh, uh, Kuan Yin, the Asian Mother Mary. Um, I believe there's a Hindu goddess Kali is the, so there's all, there's no wrong guide. You can call in, you know, your personal guides or animal totems. Animals are very healing for a spirit. And so um, how is my phone going off when it's on the airplane? Sorry. Okay. I don't know. Okay. So um, you're going to call in the guides and they're going to help you. But what I want you to look for is just, we're just going to bring in the light. First, we'll kind of clear you off and just bring up the earth energy and get grounded and then bring in the cosmic light because you're connected to earth and cosmic spiritual energy. So we'll just bring in the light, call in the guides. And then, um, you can ask your, we'll ask your guides for healing. I'll guide you through this, but notice if there's something unexpected, because I've noticed that the guides like to let me know that they're there because there's no way I was thinking about that, you know, like what? Or, um, like in one of my classes last week, a lady was surprised when we did a healing. She's like, I, I met my inner child. And I was like, okay, well, that's probably where, you know, where you're needing the healing to connect with her. And she goes, I thought I was done. I did, 
you know, years of work with that. I'm like, well, you're not because why is that, you know, is that she still needs your love, you know, your inner child or whoever, you know, whatever is coming up. Now, if you cry, that's fine. There's no wrong response. You're just letting go of emotion. That's fine. And then, and that might happen later when you're feeling safer too. You know, if you're in a place, like if you're sitting at an airport watching this or something, you think, I don't want to <laughs> boarding line three. Let it rip. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. And then if you fall asleep, it's because you've gone, you're, you're just really relaxed. You're not getting enough rest. That could be it. You need more sleep or you've kind of gone unconscious, but you're still getting the healing on a deep level. So don't worry if you fell asleep, you're just, it's just that time of the night. Where are you? It's nine o'clock back east. Bedtime. No, it's a, bedtime. Get your blankie. <laughs> and I always like that too. Like, <laughs> Like um, if you have kids or grandkids, put them in front of the TV. Well, you don't have time now. Well, we're now, well, yeah, while we're talking, get a blankie or a nice comfy pillow. And if you feel like you need to move around, because once you kind of get in your body, you're like, oh, you know, so I like to kind of just uh, get comfortable. There, it's not, you know, um, yeah, I used to go to those places where you did meditations where you had to sit still for like an hour. And I was like, my legs are falling asleep. I can't. Do it. So, no, just be comfortable with it. So, yeah. Okay. Are we ready? Did everybody put the kids in front or put the kitty? Where's <laughs> yeah, the put kitty the dogs. Go? Yeah. Now, dogs animals love this. Animals might yeah. uh, they'll get a healing if your animals come around you. They may want to jump up in your lap or something. Yeah, get some water. I'm going to have a sip of my tea. Yeah, get all comfy. Now, while, while we're getting comfy, I just want to say... This is an energy healing. I did put a disclaimer in the description of this video. This is not going to heal your physical body. It's it's not going to heal your heart failure. It's it's not physical. This is an energy healing. So I just want to say to you guys that if you're having any sort of physical ailments that you need to see a medical professional, this does not take the place of medical advice. It does not take the place of a doctor. Go see a doctor. Okay. Um, could there be a good outcome in some unexpected way? Quite possibly, but we cannot say that it will. It is not, it is not to take the place of a medical doctor. Okay. Yeah. And always check with your doctor before you do any type of healing or anything like that. So we must say this. Yes. Okay. We're ready. You guys, okay. let's do this. All right. So let's go ahead and start with our breath. So breathing in. And just take a few relaxing breaths, if you would. I like inhaling through my nose. And then let's do a couple of out through the mouth. Whew. Again, if you would. And just let it go. And then breathing through your nose into your belly and just letting yourself relax is a good idea. So I'm bringing in the... Uh, Looks like I'm bringing in the Mary Magdalene energy actually is coming in. I'm calling in Archangel Michael, the Ascended Masters, your own personal guides and animal totems, your guardian angels to assist us to assist and heal. And healing your heart chakra. So just breathing and relaxing. There's Archangel Michael. Thank you. Oh, and our higher self. Right. 
And you might just kind of say hello to your body. Most of us are busy and we're getting things done and thinking about things, but let's take a minute here to have a relationship with ourself. A few, several minutes. Take this time here for you to kind of say hello to yourself and your body. And so you are energy, you are spirit here in a physical body. Oh, huh. okay. Yeah, your energy, your spirit. And just kind of, but we want to take good care of our body because we, you need one of those to be here. So we're going to send some love to our body. Just kind of say hello to our body. If you want, you can pat your knees or give yourself a little hug and just kind of like, okay, here's my body. <laughs> and breathe. Maybe you feel yourself sitting on the chair, your feet on the floor. Cool, very cool. Okay. Let's just say hello, body. Hello, body. Let's connect into the earth energy. So bodies love to be connected to the earth. The earth has an energy. The earth is hit by lightning in the equator thousands of times a day. The earth is growing all the food the trees holding the bodies of water, the oceans, creating the crystals. The earth is a living energy, a living being. So let's connect into the earth energy and just kind of feel into it. Kind of say hello to the earth. Hello, earth. Let's let feel the earth energy coming up through our feet, through the bottom of our tailbone. It naturally does, but we're just putting our attention on it. So earth energy heals your body. Just feel, go ahead and feel the earth energy coming up and allow it to flow through your body. And you can let it come out and kind of fountain out the top of your head and give your aura a light shower. Your aura is a bubble around you about two to four feet in every direction. So we're just kind of cleaning ourselves off and just kind of getting acquainted with our energy. Cool. Good job. It feels good to be relaxed and connected to the earth. And now let's say hello to the cosmic energy, the energy of unconditional love coming from the other side. In your spiritual anatomy, it comes down through a energy cord or a beam of light and goes right into the top of your head. And this energy is protective and illuminating, connecting you to your guides, your higher self. We're just kind of getting things lubricated to heal the six, uh, I'm sorry, the seven, 
Yeah, that's right. The fourth chakra, the heart chakra. Okay, good job. So now let's just feel into the center of your chest is your heart chakra. And just breathe in and allow your guides to send you healing in your heart chakra. They know what to do. They love you. Just allow yourself to receive love and light. Letting go of stress. Letting go of shame or fear. And if you would, you can go right into the moment of now. And going into that little pyramid in your beautiful heart chakra, healing and balancing and aligning your heart chakra. And just give yourself time here they may want to send you a message. Otherwise, just enjoy feeling love in your heart, in your heart chakra.
You are love. I love you. You are safe, you are loved. And let's set the heart chakra in that beautiful healing light in peace and alignment, in love. Good job. And keeping your eyes closed, you went in very deep. So let's come back gently by taking a few breaths. You can stretch if you'd like. Woo! And let's Thank our guides. Good job. Now it's normal if you feel um, like the energy feels a little different, your body's adjusting. How's everybody doing? Woo. The chat went quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I would just, I would just say that was a beautiful meditation. Thank you so much, Sybil. That was so powerful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and I would invite you guys as you come back, maybe just, um, yeah, I heard that waterfall noise too. I wasn't sure if I was, it sounded like static or I don't know what that was. Um, but I would invite you guys to just maybe take your phone and make some notes um, or write down on a piece of paper. And if you feel comfortable doing it, write it down in the chat. Did you see anything? Did you smell anything? Did you hear anything? Did, what did you experience? Because in the beginning, I, I smelled saffron. And oh. I didn't know. I don't think I know what saffron smells like, but I knew I was smelling something weird, like unusual. And they said, I said, what am I smelling? And I heard saffron. I'm like, okay, I'm smelling saffron. And then, um, and then I think I smelled vanilla. Now, sometimes when you have Claire, um, alliance in your psychic smelling, you do smell it in your nose, but other times you have an idea that you're smelling. I know I'm smelling, okay. right? Okay. Um, so that's a different way to do it. So thanks. You guys are, oh, your dog meditated with you. Uh, and Sean, Animals saw love it. Orange orbs behind her eyes um, or your eyes. Uh, you know, those orbs could be your ancestors. It could be um, family mm -hmm. members. It could also be angels and guides. Mm -hmm. um, it can be all of those things. Why a pyramid? Kelly Raymond wants to know, but you guys please share because um if people can read your comments, then they may find out that they saw the same thing or, you know, they, they can understand that it's normal. Um, so why a pyramid? Why is it a pyramid in there? That's the structure of the chakra. Yeah. That's how they're structured. So interesting. You smelled saffron. That's a, the chakras are, I believe Hindu, uh, teaching. Oh, okay. Um, and so I heard, I saw somebody saying that they were shaking. So when you're shaking, that will subside. What's happening when you feel like you're shaking on the inside is your body is going into release mode. So this is very real. It's not just a, oh, you know, love and light, whatever happens, you know, whatever. It's, it's actually, there's a physical component um, to these healings. You might feel just really relaxed. You might feel imbalanced. You might feel kind of tired after healing. That's because you're going into a healing mode. Uh, a lot of times people feel lightheaded at first. That's normal because we just took, you know, years and years of stress and cleaned it out. And the body's kind of going, well, what are you doing? <laughs> so bodies move slower. Energy moves quick. 
And yeah, so drink water, take get some rest. Drink extra water. Yeah. Ruthie said, did anybody hear turkeys? I I did not hear a turkey. Oh my God, I saw turkeys the other day up on the hill. And you the did? water, I was, I was, I was, yeah. Yeah. When I walk up in the hills up here and there were turkeys. And I also oh. was was thinking to bring in my mermaid card somehow. Interesting people heard water. Or, or like what I call white noise. So you're getting a clear audience. You're having a clear experience. Yeah. So um, you uh, might also want to journal about this afterwards because sometimes when people do these, then they start to cry. Like at your event, a lot there wasn't a dry eye in the house. Yeah. But so um, that is just you're just you're healing. It's you're you're releasing. And, um, and then people, you know, it's, it's like you're having an awakening. You're, you know, you're becoming more conscious of your thoughts and feelings. And Kyle's, uh, third eye turned hot. That, that is definitely a thing you guys, that, mm -hmm. that can definitely happen. Yep. That's kind of yep. an, wouldn't you say that's an activation? That's, that's kind of letting him know this is being activated. This one, I'm getting psychically, this wants to be more activated or more Mm -hmm. acknowledged i think acknowledged i know that sounds crazy like what does it mean activated what does it mean by acknowledged it just means that if you have dreams or visions or you see things out of the side of your eye and nothing is there that's your third eye your third eye can be in your head like i see in my head i imagine something mm -hmm. it sounds like you're just making it up but it's not it, you're it's actually your third eye that's clear voyance i love uh, uh camilla says she was wearing a, a Princess fluffy lacy dress at the end. I love it. I love that. Mm. Wow. Yeah, shaking is okay. Yep, drink lots of water. Yep, some people felt their spirit guides. I saw mm -hmm. my family. I, I saw um, all okay. my whole family that's crossed. I was going to mention my family. Mention your family can be coming around you doing this yeah. because they want to connect with you and they love you. And I did, or, or they want forgiveness. Either one, usually. Yeah, and I didn't realize something. Like I got a whole breakthrough. Like I was oh. like, oh, I didn't know. I felt like that toward my dad. Like I did not know that until this meditation, and I was like, oh, snap. So now I know I've got a little bit more work to do to clear that energy up. I swear I had no idea that I had that I thought that way towards yeah. my dad. Yeah. It was a whole new layer that got uncovered. You know, uh, like you dig down into those boxes and you find that one thing, you you know, and you're like, I didn't know this was in the box. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes just uncovering it can release it. You don't necessarily have to do a whole lot. Somebody saw squirrels. That's cool. I'm not sure what uh, that means. Squirrels in uh, the Native American in symbology. Well, you can Google stuff online. What does this mean? But squirrels are gather your energy. Um, and so they, they gather nuts. Um, so it's like pulling in your energy, gathering in your, oh, gathering you know. your energy. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. And, um, Ariane, Ariane said she sounded like a group of people talking. That's clear audience. Cause I don't okay. think that was real. I think that was us Claire audiently picking up. Like I kept straining to hear it. Like is Sybil playing something? That's what it sounds yeah. like. Like you're straining to hear something. You can barely hear it. That my friends is clear yeah. audience. Yeah. It could sound like white noise, people talking, music playing. It could sound like any number of things. Um, and wow. Catalot said a little cat curled over her heart. Not an actual cat when I tried to visualize a, a, a pyramid. Exactly. You don't have to see the pyramid. You can see whatever you see there. Yeah. Yeah. These are, yeah, this is an amazing opening for people. So we used to all, we all have our gifts. We all have gifts. That's beautiful. And, um, yeah. That you were, she was called to hold a new Buddha. Somebody had given her close to her heart. That's what I'm saying. Just do whatever, whatever comes to you. If something, mm -hmm. if you feel like holding a stuffed animal, hold that. If you feel like holding a pillow, if you feel like you really want to go get a picture of somebody that's crossed over and hold that, you can do that too. You guys can listen to this video. I'm going to timestamp when the meditation starts. I'm going to put it in the description below. And you can listen to this video as many times as you need to. Anytime you need to, it's here for you. Oh, people, so many animals join me. That's sweet. And people smelling sage smoke. This is huge. You guys are all have awakening and connecting. So when you sit with a teacher, uh, like 
it you that gives you permission or a group but this is the time to do this your it's your way this is your awakening your spiritual growth because we used to have our abilities and we we've lost them and now this is a part of and this is imagine if everyone's heart would open the oceans would purify we wouldn't have any more wars we would all you know um so let it begin with you yeah this is great i love this I love that. I love what you just said. Let it begin with and, you. you know, I if love you, that. If, if you felt pain, you're healing, honey. That is because my greatest, most painful things in my life were the things that I learned the most from and have made me who I am today. But if you're feeling that, you're, it's coming up and you're letting it go. So just recognize that. Now, if nothing happened for you, pay attention to the the things that happen in the next the days that come because you've opened something up so don't think like i didn't get anything i was just taking a nap that's okay too because you're still healing on a deep level and that's fine it doesn't have to be that you had like i used to do this i used to go and sit and meditate and my teeth you know people would say like what are you seeing i'm like i don't know it's dark in here i don't see anything <laughs> So, but I didn't give up. And then uh, one day I went to the beach and I was sitting there and the whole water, the ocean turned red. I was like, holy crap, what's <laughs> happening? But, you know, but, you know, so don't think, you know, sometimes it's just because uh, there's something better. There's something better when it's time, it will open for you. But don't think oh, I didn't see so because I thought, that, you know, when I meditate, well, the angels are going to come. I'm like, where is everyone? It's dark in here. I don't get it. And then I started going rocking like this. And I'm like, okay, now I look like one of those people in a mental institution that's like, <laughs> I'm like, what's happening? And they're like, you need to release stress. You need to relax. I'm like, okay, I've been doing this for like six months now and nothing's happening. But I didn't give up because sometimes when like, it's like there's just don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your path because there are sometimes the rewards can be great. And it's just, that's just your, everything is in divine timing. So don't think like I didn't get something. Looks like a lot of people got like, you know, like you guys had some amazing, Oh, you felt queasy. Yeah. I'm sorry, Tara, that you felt that queasy. you're healing. You're healing. That's healing. That's level, releasing the toxins. Yeah. Yep. That's and Cindy P saw a face in her third eye. She has no idea oh. who an outline of a face. I mean, that could be your spirit guide. Um, mm -hmm. That could be a loved one that's in your heart, right? Um, yeah. Beautiful. Wow. I'm glad you guys experienced so many amazing things. I saw a Viking. Cool. Nice. Oh, and Sandy heard geese. You guys had a lot of Claire audience. That's a Claire audience is not the most common thing. It's uh not the most common thing. And uh Karen Conroy said I cried, felt a lot of pain in my chest, and heard crows. Oh. Oh. Saw the silhouette of a head. Karen, you need to drink a lot of water and be careful because you that was a big that was a big release, and you might be a little bit like unstable. So I, you know, you guys the probably could actually use to ground again. If you eat a little snack, um, get a grounding stone. That was a release dear. I'm uh, not the crows, the crows. What do you think about the crows for Karen Conway? Was that a message? Well, I, yeah, yeah. I, there was a big crow right outside the window, right before I came in to do this, which is another message that I was getting. So crows are call the shots and the crow was sitting on a big telephone line. So this is communication, call the shots, walk your talk and then he flew down and got in the gutter so i'm like stay out of the gutter don't get into the like don't get into an argument with somebody because like in in about five minutes if a conversation isn't going good i'm like okay i'll talk to you later or you know or let's let's take a break or say a yeah. prayer or something yeah, I, love crows, I love it crows will call the shots and they also can be talking about um check with a nutritionist or an herbalist about um, some herbs or vitamins, things like that. So they can have to do with that. But crows are actually very intelligent. They mate for life. Did you know that? No, I didn't they're, know that. Yeah. They're kind of like, to me, they kind of remind me of like, they're kind of like obnoxious. They're all, wah, 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 wah. you know, um, but they're, they're telling you something. So yeah, 
Call I love the shot. I love that. And a lot of you guys saw silhouettes, which is which is like a silhouette of a head, a silhouette of a person. That's normal. That's totally normal. Your eyes twitching, flickering. Yeah. I was going to say this. Uh, colors. Did you guys notice any colors? Uh, Karen says she saw green and purple. Um Wow. Okay. So yeah. So, so, but since going through chemo, you said you see them rarely. So I think this is a reopening, a re-energizing, yeah. a re, yeah. a new version of healing for you. Cause green and purple yeah. is beautiful. Chemo um, is really hard on the body. And so I feel like when I connect with purple and green, um, which I was calling in, I work regularly with Archangel Michael, who's purple or lavender with gold. And Archangel Raphael is, or green can be a healing color, but Archangel Raphael is a healing angel. So I'm feeling like that around you, some kind of healing beings and light. And so the chemo is really hard on you. So yeah, this is, Susan's right. It's coming back. Your, your, um, your, your abilities. Your, they were yeah, always your there. You just couldn't feel them. Chemo is really yeah. hard on your body. Yeah, it's good. Um, I love, I, I have never seen a group have so much clear audience. Um, uh, Brenda said she heard like a tea kettle whistling. I'm telling you, I heard all these same things, like the waterfall, the tea kettle, the fan blowing, people talking. Uh, it was really disturbing me because I was visiting my family and I'm like, can I get some peace and quiet here? <laughs> I want to really talk to my family. <laughs> what is all this anyway? Oh, good. Still getting chills up and down your body. That's good. So what can they do? Like post this, like, what can they do? Like, it's almost like you got your carpet cleaned and it's, and you're like, wow, it turned out so good. It looks great. And how do we continue to keep this clean? How do we continue to, you know, value and respect and love this heart chakra? Do you have any suggestions? Um, yeah, well, um, sit down and, and, um, you know, connect with your heart. Um, whenever I'm like trying to fall asleep at night or wake up worried about something, I go, Oh, let me not be in fear. Let me drop into my heart and love myself and do some breathing. So you can do that. You can watch the video again. You can take a, a salt bath or a shower, um, go for a walk, um, you know, be around loving people, you know, play with or cuddle with your pets. Um, like you said, drink a lot of water, um, connect with your crystals. So is that, is that answering your question? Yeah. I mean, so just be gentle with yourself. How long do you think yeah. these changes will continue to like manifest? I mean, I, I know we're not going to be specific here because every well, single person is different, but could they be expecting to have kind of like dreams? You can also be having dreams this right, week. Right. You could, you're, you're, I think your senses are going to be on alert. So you might have yeah. more abilities this week. Um, but, you know, so do you think like two days, three days, four days a week? So usually a couple hours to 24 hours, you're processing energy and then you feel really great. Then you feel like if, if you feel like you went into a healing mode, let yourself process. And then by tomorrow morning, the next morning, I usually feel like, wow, I feel great or a couple hours. Um, I feel better. I feel better now, but, but yeah, sometimes it's, it's the next day. And some sometimes people feel, you might some be people tired. feel better right away. And some people, they go into a little healing because remember bodies heal slower than, than energy. So your body needs to kind of come into balance. And like we said, it's not instead of the doctor like that, but it's more like coming into balance and alignment. Um, so somebody, Cynthia saw her brother. Kathy, Kathy saw her brother oh, who passed Kathy. and said, where do you live? And he said, way up north <laughs> and asked him where he smiled and said that, you know, I can't tell you that. <laughs> 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 nice. Holding secrets. Um, yeah, you guys. And, and if you're super tired, it just means you're processing all that energy. So if you're super tired tomorrow, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It means that you got a lot out of this and your body is trying to process some of this energy out. Um, and then Becca said, where did we hear all this? So here's the thing. Claire audience is very, it's not very common. So I probably out of everybody, there's 779 people watching this right now. Probably maybe 
20 of us had Claire audience. It's not going to be a great big, but it's just surprising to me because 20 is a lot. <laughs> so what happens is you just, you hear things, you think you hear it. You're like, have you ever heard your, your name called? And you're go around asking what, what, what? And then you realize number one, no one's in the house with you or B, no one called your name. That is Claire audience. People experience it once or twice in their life, but some people experience it more often. Okay. So that's what we're talking about. But it, but 90% of people don't experience it very often. You can have it once in a while, but the sounds were really loud. Yeah. They were starting to bug me actually. Um, Yeah, Epsom salt baths. And you were saying also that you can do a salt shower. So yeah. how do you do that? Like you just get. Well, I just get wet when I don't have time for a whole bath or I feel like, yeah, I don't need that much. I just get wet. I grab a handful of salt and I just scrub myself down. So regular yeah. salt, rock salt, uh, Epsom salt, whatever, whatever. Yeah, any, any sea salt, any salt is good. Salt is cleansing. And it'll just kind of help if you feel like you're going through a little healing process, it'll just kind of help move, move it along. Um, yeah. Um, I just want to talk about this tinnitus because I have a friend that had terrible tinnitus when I met her and the guides were saying, you, you know, we're trying to talk to you and you're not listening and it's getting kind of like, you know, being, so when she started meditating more, her tinnitus actually went away. Um, but the fact that your tinnitus went on overload while you meditated means that you were getting information and more information was coming in, right? So you were already, that tinnitus was already kind of creating information coming in and then more information made it worse. So meditating more might actually help your tinnitus. Do you get anything with that? Because you're the healer here. Um, so what is technically tinnitus? When, when you have the ringing in your ear, the oh, ringing, okay. ringing, so ringing, ringing, ringing. When I started, I never had that before. When I started doing this work, I got a ringing in my ear and it's been there for 20 years and it never goes away. It's my God's constantly connecting and downloading with me. So wow. I'm, I, I, I realize that. And then when it comes in really clear, like ee, they're really like, I pay attention, like, okay, what are you saying? They're trying to get my attention. You're getting a download. And so I don't see it as a problem. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm good. I'm not, I don't see it as that. So it, does she have, what's her name? You, Christine, she's learned. So, so you've learned to live with it. I don't right? feel like it's tinnitus. So I, I, you know, you have to listen okay. to whatever the doctor says, but I, I don't feel like it's, a, unless it's bothering you. Um, I had a gal come to me years ago who went to see John of God in uh, South America and um, it opened up her hearing and she had a ringing in her ears and we worked for a while to get it to go away. And we finally did. But um, that's because she just she didn't want it there. Um, but to me, it's just it's my connections like they're always there and it doesn't keep me up. It doesn't disturb me. I, I feel kind of comforted by it. So I'm sorry if it's bothering you. Yeah. T Barb says she calls she crickets can. and it doesn't drive her nuts. Some people, it really drives them nuts. If it really drives you nuts, then I would suggest that you meditate and you try to ask your higher self, can I get some relief from this? It's too much. Or can you help me uh, deal with it? You know, ask for help. I, one thing that we don't do enough because we don't know to is to ask for help. You know, they're here to help you. Ask them to help yeah. you. Yeah. I, 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 sometimes I think like, why is this happening? And then I go, okay, I can't get the computer to work. Right. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, Archangel Michael is my fix it guy for everything. And I just, I'm like, help me out, Michael. And then I'm like, oh, okay. And there, sometimes I need to give a, a little, take a little break from whatever it is. And then I come back and then it's working, but that's how he works with me. But yeah, ask your guides. If you don't like the ringing or it doesn't feel like a comfortable ringing to you, then yeah, you're right. Meditate and ask, ask, and you'll receive something from the meditation, or you might be guided to a person or a thing that will help you. What is, what does the doctor do for tinnitus again? I don't know. Um, some, some, they not much, honestly, not, there's yeah. some things, yeah. but there's not a lot. 
I just want to tell you guys, or Nanya, if you're having, um, if your heart is beating fast and you feel that this is an unsafe situation, perhaps you need to go to the doctor right now. Or, you know, if you guys are having a health issue, you need to go seek medical profession, medical help, like right now. If you think that this is something that um, is, a, is a health problem, please do what you need to do to take care of yourself. Yeah. Also, we are not um, medical doctors. We are not giving yeah. medical advice. Also, on your way there, relax and breathe. <laughs> um, so that will help lower. Um, you know, um, if you feel like you're getting stressed out, yeah. Oh, thank you, June. That's so sweet. That is so sweet of you. And Mickey Walk, this is me. It's like I hear the radio, but I can't make out the song. I can't make out the mute, or, or sometimes it's like uh, talking. Anyway, um, now I'll explain that too. So let's think about this. Like, so if you guys, um, you guys all, I'm pretty sure have had radios in your car and you're driving and all of a sudden you lose, you're out of range for the station you were listening to and a new station pops in that's playing polka. You know what I mean? You're like, what is this? Right. Or some crazy thing that you don't normally listen to. This is what's happening when you have Claire audience. Or, or a lot of things for that matter. If your antenna's up and you don't know that it's up because you don't even know you have an antenna, you're walking around with your antenna up and it's just picking up signals, vibrations and signals. Sometimes that, that stuff is not even meant for you. You're just picking up whatever the random thing is out in the universe. So you want to actually, in my opinion, put your antenna up, pull your antenna down. We don't want to walk around with our antenna up all the time. It's exhausting. It's exhausting to get this information all the time. So at, if you're having an awakening or you're getting more and more information or more and more, you know, types of psychic energy or hits, pull your antenna down. Just say, I don't need to know this information right now. I'm disconnecting from it. It doesn't mean you can't reconnect. You can reconnect anytime you want. You just turn it on, turn it off. It's, it's just that simple. It's about intention. It's all about intention, everybody. What to say when, I'm sorry, what does that say? Is that anyone, uh, what to say when what doesn't work to your name being called? If you're hearing your name called and no one is there every single day, um, then it, it might, that doesn't happen terribly often, but I, I have had clients that have had that. Um, a couple of things are happening. A, they're trying to get your attention. <laughs> they're trying to get your attention. B, uh, sometimes they're just trying to get your attention to prove to you that you have abilities. Honestly, sometimes the spirit guides say we were just trying to prove to them that that you know that they could talk to crossed over loved ones or that they could get clear audience. It, it, sometimes it's just proving to you that you can do it. Other, but I would if I was getting connect if i was getting bombarded and that's the word i want to use with with signs like seeing repeating numbers all the time as a sign getting hearing your name called all the time having a dream about something all the time seeing things like the same um the same advertisement or something that's guidance you guys sit down take some deep breaths like we did today in the meditation grab a piece of paper and say if i were to imagine what would i imagine they're trying to say to me try to understand, pull some cards. Yeah. What are you trying to say to me? Yeah. I get that when they play a song in my head, I'm like, yes. Okay, why are you playing? What, what is the message? And once you get it, it should go away. It should That's be right. like, okay, but somebody's trying to get your attention. Yeah. I'm and like, so okay, in your head is also clear audience, by the way, that's another yeah. form yeah. of, so you wake up in the morning or all of a sudden you're singing this song and you're like, why am I singing this song? That's a message. It's just a little message. It, it doesn't have to be uh, messages are not always, you know, this big, important thing. Sometimes it's just, Hey, we love you. One, one, one cheering you on. Seeing 11, uh, 11's all the time. Yeah. Yeah. 11 That's, is thoughts and it's 11 right. is what your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts 11 is a very auspicious number. And 11 is right before 12. So you're right before the change. So there's a full moon eclipse coming like next Monday, but you're right before whatever change is coming because you're 
You're not at 12. 12 is a.m. to p.m. or the next day. So 11 is you're right before the change. Wow. Interesting. I didn't know that. That's a great way to put that. 11 is right before the day to night or morning to afternoon. That's See, she's a really good teacher, you guys. I'll take this opportunity to say check out her website because she has three classes coming up. Three really cool classes. They're just three hours long, easy to do. Um, check out her website because I'm thinking about signing up for these classes. That's how cool they are. Um, so you'll want to, you'll really want it because they're going to fill up and you're going to miss That's your opportunity. That's going to be awesome. Uh, four, 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 four is the angels. The angels are around you. Four can also mean stability, four okay. legs on a, on a table. It can okay. also mean foundation. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, throw your last questions in. We're going to sign off in about a couple of minutes if you have any other questions. Yeah, exactly. Get some rest, Sandra. Thank you, Connie. You guys, oh, Maxine says she loves your book. Her Sybil's book is great, you guys. It's a great book. It's, um, I don't have it. It's out of my reach, isn't it? Do you have your copy there? Anyway, it's about metaphysical. Um, Here it is. Okay. Really, there it is. It's a, it's a really, it talks about her experience of how she woke up, but it also has really important metaphysical information in it about psychic abilities, about the chakras. It's just like, it's like a textbook. It's really good. You can get it on Amazon. White rainbows. Right? What is about 222? That's a good one. Um, your, your beliefs. Two, you your know, beliefs? two pairs of things too. Or, or your beliefs to have faith and believe too. Two, two, two. Nice. Believe, believe. Could it also mean choice, like in the lovers? Could it also lovers card okay. and tarot? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. See, I love these conversations. We just get to talk shop. We get to talk metaphysical shop. Yeah, this is awesome. Such good energy. I love this. Feels great. Yeah, the energy feels great. I think 555 has changed. What do you think about yep. that? Yep. And 333, three, 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 whoops, sorry, I didn't click the right thing. Or did I? Yes. 333, three, three, isn't that like the Trinity? Isn't that a, mm -hmm. a real, a very auspicious, like um, religious or? Um, it's not religious, that? ascended masters. The masters. Ascended masters, thank you. Jesus, Moses, Buddha, Kuan Yin, Mary, Magdalena, those are all. Um, Thank you for saying that. It's not religion. Merlin. These people are free agents. They play for all the teams. Yeah. <laughs> now here's one I don't know. I don't know what 999 is. Do you know what the nine is or the 999 is? Nine is the highest number, service, which is the greatest thing you can do here is be of service. But to be of service, first you got to heal or heal thyself. <laughs> I like to skip that part and just run around telling everybody what to do. And that didn't go so well. So then I'm like, <laughs> people don't like it when you, I don't, I try not to tell people what to do. I get suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't help when you have clear cognizance. So your psychic hits come as your own thoughts. And so you just have this urge, like, I know, I know I can help you. I know this is what you need to do. And you, you feel it in such a passionate way. Yeah. And people are like, stop bossing me around. Or I say it like this. I'm like, listen here, I want you to listen to this. I'm going to give you the best advice that anyone's ever told you. <laughs> and it probably is because it's psychic, but nobody wants to hear it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Healing is ongoing. You guys. I just want to tell you guys, I wish you all the best. I am sending you much love. I know that Sybil is sending you much, much love. This we amazing. have shared I love the group. love. This great energy. It feels beautiful. The energy yeah. feels yeah. amazing. Please yeah, continue. You guys are awesome. Yeah, they, you guys are awesome. Please continue taking good care of yourself, okay? Um, this is like. You, you put gasoline in your car and theoretically you get the oil change and theoretically you get the tires, you know, maintenance, spiritual hygiene, spiritual maintenance, right? So take really good care of yourself. Yeah. You're all going to be feeling amazing tomorrow. Yeah. 
I don't know or, why or there's now. a line Maybe getting now. into heaven other than there's a line getting on this planet. There's a, there's a, who knows, this could have been just a metaphor. You saw your mom at the pearly gates in a line. It could just be that that's the metaphor that, that you're, you grew up with that imagery or your mother grew up with that imagery or, um, or that it, to me, that image feels beautiful. Like we're excited. We're, you know what I mean? Like, you know, if, if heaven is a thing you believe in, if that's your, if that matches your, you know, your beliefs, that's, then that's a beautiful place. Why not have a line? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everybody, it's getting late. I'm going to close our healing ceremony down. And I want to thank Sybil again. Thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, she has a YouTube channel as well. The Equinox takes place tomorrow. Holy moly, I didn't even know that. Really? Um, cool. Yeah, that's powerful as well. And um, if you guys are new here, please subscribe to my channel. Check out Sybil's channel and, and our websites. We really appreciate your support. And we sending a lot of love to you. Thank you so very much. We will see you again soon here on YouTube land. Okay, everybody take good care.